With a minimum of computations, we want to use the cofactor expansion method to find the value of the determinant of matrix A. Notice matrix A is a four by four matrix. To minimize the number of computations, we want to form the cofactor expansion using the row with the most zeros. Notice row one has two zeros, but row three has three zeros, so we'll use row three to form the cofactor expansion. So the determinant of matrix A is equal to, now using row three, the first element is six, so we'll have six times the cofactor, which would be C sub three comma one. That's going to be equal to negative one raised to the power of I plus J times M sub I comma J, where I is the row of this element and J is the column of this element. So because this six is in row three column one, we'd have six times negative one raised to the power of three plus one times the minor, where the minor is the determinant formed by eliminating the row and column of this element. So to form the determinant, we'll eliminate row three, column one, which will give us a three by three determinant. And the elements will be zero, zero, two, four, negative seven, negative five, negative two, three, one. Now from here, notice how the remaining elements in row three are zero, so we could stop here. Let's show a little more work. Again, the next element in row three is zero, so we'd really have plus zero times the cofactor, but because we know it's going to be zero, let's just write zero times C sub. This element is in row three, column two, so C sub three, comma two, plus the next element in row three is also zero, so we'd have plus zero times the cofactor, which would be C sub, this element is in row three, column three, so we'd have C sub three, comma three, plus the last element in row three is also zero, so we'd have zero times the cofactor, which would be C sub three, comma four, because this element is in row three, column four. So notice how these products will be zero, so let's just focus on this part, the determinant of matrix A is equal to, well here we have negative one raised to the fourth, which would be positive one, six times positive one is six, so we'd have six times the value of this three by three determinant. And again, let's use cofactor expansion, and notice how row one has two zeros, so we'll form the expansion using the first row. So we'll have six times the value of this determinant, so again, using row one, we would have zero times the cofactor, but because we have a factor of zero here, there's no reason to show that work. It's just going to be C sub one comma one plus the next element in row one is also zero, so we'd have plus zero times the cofactor, which would be C sub one comma two. And finally, the last element in row one is two, so we'd have plus two times the cofactor, which would be negative one raised to the power of, this element is in row one, column three, so we'd have negative one raised to the power of one plus three times the minor, which in this case will be the two by two determinant formed by eliminating row one and column three. So we're left with a two by two determinant where the elements are four, negative seven, negative two, three. So simplifying, we're going to have six times, this is zero, this is zero. Here we're going to have negative one to the fourth, that's positive one, so two times positive one is two. And now to evaluate this two by two determinant, we would have four times three minus negative seven times negative two. Well, four times three, of course, is 12, minus negative seven times negative two is positive 14. So simplifying inside the parentheses first, we have six times two times 12 minus 14 is negative two, which gives us six times negative four, which equals negative 24. So the value of the four by four determinant is equal to negative 24. 
I hope you found this helpful.